Hello my friends. This is Cubby1969, also known as Cubby Streams. I wanted to share my frustrations and my thoughts. I've been trying very hard to share an idea that has been around for a long, long time, but has always been made incapable of. We live in a world where we are underneath the few or the one always. If you travel back through history, there was a king or a queen or an emperor or somebody or some people, small handfuls, who empowered themselves and created a government or whatever hierarchical system so that they empowered over the, the people beneath. And they were raised up. They were believed to be more than the people. And it continued on through our whole history and it still is today. My God, people will look at somebody who becomes a president and suddenly put them on a plane of existence well above everybody else. Like we are all incapable of reaching and attaining that level of existence. And that's bullshit. I mean, even the amazement of the United States' political system was a man who was just a firm hand in the middle of nowhere land could become the president of the United States. That isn't anymore. It's a facade. It's a fake. We put these political figures on pedestals. <clears throat> They're just people like you and I who make mistakes, who do the best they can with what their God-given abilities, knowledges, understandings, moralities, truth, and honesty <clears throat> to stand for all these things, to see people and feel their pain truly and understand where they're coming from to try just for an instant to put yourself in their shoes instead of always taking the time out to make judgment on everyone around you. I'm rather sickened by the whole thing. This idea, this political aspect, I don't want to be a politician. I just wish somebody who had this available ability out there would just take this idea and run with it. It's time, my friends. I mean, my God, what the hell are we waiting for? I don't understand what we are waiting for. We need to move forward. And we live in a political society where we keep flipping the same fucking coin. The same coin with different sides. If you can gather that aspect, that we continually vote on this these different political figures hoping to get heads, hoping to get tails, but truly it's the same coin. There is no changes for us. It continues to get shit deeper, okay? I've only been here since 1969 on this planet, and I've seen things just get fucking gross. I had so much given to me. The governments were so generous even in the time I was growing up, and that peters off. And you watch society continually, and everybody sees this. The wages go up in mere slivers, while all the fluctuations of all the inflations that continue to rise and affect us well beyond what our incomes will ever be. I mean, you cannot, un you cannot be a logical person and see with your mind in the future that unless your income is raising an astounding of ability, that you're going to get buried under, no matter what your job is. Eventually, it's going to come to a time you're going to get older, retirement of age, and the cost of living would be so high, you will end up in an old folks' home. You will end up losing your home. You will end up losing everything like everybody else. You will end up working until you die. My father is 75. He came off of a place called Suncor. It was Great Canadian Oil Sands. They sold out because, you know, Canada is fucking morons with their own resources. I mean, my God, what do they want to do? They want to ship all the oil through pipelines across hundreds of beautiful, gorgeous, serene, nothing can change after they're damaged. You'll never get it back. Never get it back. I don't give a fuck what you say. You will destroy and damage our ecology. The beauty, the serenity, the all of that land and just spill your fucking oil, your poisons, your toxins, the whales, all of that mammal, the lives, everything out there. Y you don't care? For what? You need that energy, you need the money, you gotta make this fucking machine move forward until what? Until it breaks, until there's no more, until there's nothing? Until there's nothing? 
I'd like to see a political system change. I'd like to see a majority of the voices speak because we know damn well there is an empowerment above us because no matter what the people say, the government gets their way. That is the way it is. And I'm sick of it. I want to see abilities now. We are in a technological advancement. The information fucking highway. The Great Alexandria Library Part Motherfucking 2. God damn it, people, come on, please! Sorry for getting me, God. I, I, I'm very frustrated. We're going to a new year. I don't want to see the same bullshit. Everybody keeps putting band-aids on solutions, okay? Let's make a political party. Please, people, let's make a political party where it's an open website defined specifically for our voice, our people, okay, a majority political party, make it even with reality, stick some fucking cameras on these politicians who want to be honest, who have nothing and want nothing to hide, our party will be different, if it grew in prosperity like the other parties that eventually ran the whole of the country, you would be giving the voice to all of the people. Because each individual cells, as the politicians are voted into these places, they would be only following what's on the website as the majority votes. You would poll the votes. You would use your phones. Old time school phones, you'd be able to... We could get systems where they would call into your house, tell you that there's an update. We could have it to your cell phones. We can have all the updated information in your cell phones and simple, specific means of choices of method of referendum poll voting through the technology available at hand right now. We would cover most of us and the people who don't have availability can still go to public accesses like libraries. Maybe we can even put situated places in each each area that your politician is involved and responsible for in these small sections called for MLAs. There would be a building where people can just go and log in with their own username and make the voices changes. It, it, it's so limited in cost now to put these systems in place. You don't need any fancy fast computers. You can just put old-fashioned ones even just to be able to do the availability of people to go in who live in that area, log in, see what's going on in that area that our politician we voted in is trying to make choices for and the our politician doesn't really exist. They're no more than an actor. They have no power because they will never make a choice on their own. They will always look to the website, see what the poll is of that area. It makes it much more difficult for them to grab a hold of the control. You've seen what they did in Iowa where they just create new laws, come in, and they just take all the voting and they go off secretly in their hid away areas and count and tell us. This is the truth. You can believe us. Fuck you, okay? I'm sorry, but I want to see an availability of a voice for all of the people. I know people have a tough time believing and seeing that future, that we're capable of becoming more. But I promise you that, yes, there will be difficulties. Yes, there will be negative aspects of giving all the people the availability of a voice, but we can grow together. We become educated together. People are not involved and don't care because we know we flip the same coin. It is untrue that we have a voice. There is no voice. After you vote your politician in, they make the choices. In the end, based on a lot of the times of who is paid their way, because they're, they're swayed by the commerce that they get entangled with, that they make promises to, that they feel uh, owing to, that they need those contributions continually to keep flowing. So. Of course, they're going to be friends and try to make changes based on the... There's too much corruption through greed, and it's much more difficult if all of us as a voice, it becomes available. We can even create new constitutions, my friends, new charter of rights. The voice of the people can rewrite those papers that were written so long ago and protect the minorities from the majority. I'm not saying even the majority is great and perfect. We will make mistakes, but you know what? The politicians that are in place, are they supermen or women? Because they have to be, to be able to empower, to be able to stand with that much power in place. Imagine when you actually become a prime minister, a president, 
whatever political figure of your country is and now they have to not allow their personal opinions to availably control or change any of it they have to do what is right for the people and they never do because we live in a commerce we're controlled by this commerce there should have been a cap on commerce if we were the people as a voice we would have made sure that the, the money was spread out as it should be not held back not controlled in conjunction by one or a few people there would have been a cap on money a cap on commerce stopping it so that they could not empower themselves and buy our politicians these are examples of our growth coming my friends my brothers my sisters let's create these new words that will protect ourselves but we can't do it unless it's started we have to it's called direct democracy but we have the technology, the availability to make it real. Make it now! Why are we waiting? Why are we saying, why are we staying slaves? As our children come out of college, they're so far in debt. They can't even afford everything. They're indentured slaves the moment they come out of college, out of university, because there's so much that they have to pay back to own their houses, to own their homes. Education shouldn't even be a cost. Education should be a right for every person out there. Not, I mean, if you go back 70s, $2,000, my brothers and sisters, $2,000 is what it would cost for a person to go and put themselves through college. They could do it by working through summer or part-time. And I'm talking, that was the cost including their room and board. My God, what the fuck is waiting? You're the youth. You are the young. If you are the hackers, get your asses out there and make this possible. Make the website that's available to free the people. And then some of you who are of the right, who want to make the difference, who care about the people, who believe in these words, will stand for it. Come up and become the politician necessary not allow your personal beliefs always follow what's on that damn website not hide anything and hold that camera create the reality make it so nothing can be hidden it's insane that we live this way we are all going to be living 20 30 40 50 years down the road with watered down money and you will not even be able to have enough with two incomes to afford your basic livings. Why can you not see that? Why can you not see the damage that's being reaped upon this earth? We're putting destruction. There are so amazement that we're just tipping upon that we're not even going to be able to, to play with scientifically because we'll kill it and destroy them off. We're not gods. We're only finding now that a lot of those plants out there are leading us to the understanding of how we work. And we would not know the knowledge that we do about our systems without those plants that are out there, still alive and available. But once they're gone, that is it. You will never see and have an understanding equal to that. It's time for change, my friends. I ask all of you children out there, the ones with the... The, the gifts, please. Stop the negativity. Stop the wrongness, the badness. It will self-destruct upon itself. It always does. Through all of civilizations that always crumbled, eventually it came down to because these fucking pieces of shit out there empowered themselves over the whole of the people, destroying our own creation of our own, our own country the existence of what we live in. God bless all of you. Sorry, this is a rant that I had to put out. I don't think that the people are understanding this. They see only that we are bad people and we cannot be given this power. And it's insane because they say the same thing that all of us should never have the power, but they'll give it to one person they don't even know. Some stranger or a handful of people they don't even know and say, oh, they're educated. They know what's right. They're the ones that we politically voted in. It's money that makes that run. Not education. Nothing like that is making us move forward. There are senators I've read that had no reading and writing skills. And they were able and available and able to make decisions on the behalf of the people. 
how are you able to do that without reading the documents and everything? Oh, well, the technology. Somebody read it to them, the machines read it to them, and they were able to do the jobs. So, I mean, if somebody with no ability who had reading and writing deficits that kept them from becoming, and technology is shown, I mean, look at Stephen Hawking. Who would he be today without the availability of that machine being able to let us know what that incredible mind gives us every day, my brothers and sisters. Let's stop looking at this fucking universe like we're the center of. Let's stop believing that the world is flat. Let's get together. Let's move forward. We have stagnated. We have stalemated. We're stuck. Let's move. Let's become something more than we ever thought possible. God bless each and every one of you.